Hey guys, welcome back. I just want to do a quick video on my Citizen Echo Drive watch. I picked this up in a lot. I may release a, I did an unboxing of that. I may release that. I don't know. We'll see. But I had a lot of trouble getting this working. I wanted to share a couple things of, of what I had to do. Now, everybody knows, I think, at least if you know the Citizen Echo Drive, I should say, they know these have capacitor batteries or rechargeable batteries in them. Uh, depending on what movement you have, depending, you know, depends on what model battery you have, but this one arrived without a battery. So I went ahead and purchased one. Uh, let me see if I can find it. This is an 812 moment, movement, so it it used a 295-56 uh, Citizen battery. And like I said, those are rechargeable. And those have to be put in a very, very certain way. Not even just lined up, but they have to be touching. The two copper pieces in there have to be touching. So when you line it up to, and I'll put a picture up here, when you line it up to set it in, you not only have to line it up perfectly, but you gotta make sure those two copper pieces are touching. Uh, I had a lot of problems with that in the beginning. Couldn't get it to run. Uh, charged it for several days in the windowsill. I mean, several days, probably five or six days. And I still couldn't get this thing to run. And then I finally did some googling around and I found an abbreviated, um, an abbreviated user manual for the Citizen 812 movement and that one's what finally worked for me. <laughs> I think it was a combination of the battery not being perfectly lined up and the reset I had to perform in this manual because I charged and charged and charged I still couldn't get a hand to move popping the crown out in pushing buttons trying everything and I'll put a link to this below of where I finally found it but I had to do what I call a I think what the abbreviated manual refers to is a reset all. I had to uh, push the crown all the way in, change it to chronograph or the CHR. So you you turn, you basically turn the uh, crown and and get it to line up with CHR here in this bottom uh, little dial area right here. And then you pull the crown to position two, and there's basically one and then two, so it's all the way out. And then you press and release both the upper right button and the lower button at the same time. And now it says it should emit a sound. Mine did not make any sound, but the hand started moving at that point. That's when I knew I was back in business with this watch. But yeah, it, uh, it took me a while uh, to finally figure that out. But and, and then a lot of the other manuals to say don't do a reset all if your battery's not fully charged or you could break your watch. But I, at that point, I was I was kind of done. I thought, well, maybe this movement's just bad, uh, but that's what finally did it to me. So I'll I'll put a link to the the abbreviated manu manual, like I, said, like I said, that I found. If you don't have an 812 movement, um, it's probably going to be a little bit different. But just search for an abbreviated manual like this of the movement number. If you want to know the movement number, it's right here on back, and I'll just put a picture up there. Um, like this one will say. Uh, E812 and then a number after it which I think is the case number yeah so you can do some googling and find out actually but that's how I revived my citizen watch um, I'm gonna do another video on this when it comes to setting time and everything because I again uh, had some trial and error on that but I think I've got it all done now and it looks like it's working good let's get a couple of measurements on this and then we'll like we do at every video we'll throw in some some macro shots and some shots on the wrist. That's about 44 without the crown. Uh, let's get a lug width. Uh, we're uh, almost a 22 lug width right there. Um, a lug to lug. We've got about a 48. And then for our case width, I'm going to go just to the inside of the band there. We're talking about 12.39. I really like this watch. Um, I'm going to start wearing a little bit. When I got it, it just had this cheap, uh, cheap NATO band on it. Um, so I'm not sure what kind of wa what kind of watch band do you think I should put on this. Let me know. Leave a comment. Let me know. Um, I'm going to see if I can find some of the originals. I think this one's from about 2017, if I had to guess, somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, nice solar watch, perpetual calendar. Seems to be running good now. So again, I'll do an update video. Um, uh, do a little more detail on this maybe setting time but I think that's all we're going to do today 
Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let's stay tuned for a couple pics of this, and uh, we'll see you next time.